My name is Emily Lane, and I got interested in the fracking issue when we started having earthquakes in our area. And we started going to community meetings and learning about how to get ourselves prepared. And through doing that, we, we started learning or, uh, meeting uh, residents who were being affected by the natural gas activities in the area. So then more research ensued and more meetings, and we thought we needed to get involved in our community when we had not been involved before at all. You know, so it really changed the course of our lives in a lot of ways. Um, and as far as the earthquakes go, um, our state agencies actually back in 2008 um, knew that the activity going on around here was going to cause seismicity and they did a real good job hiding that from the public and even after the seismicity started it took them over a year to actually shut down the wells that were causing the activity. Um, so we think there was definitely some negligence on the part of our state agencies and that's another reason why people like me and my family and uh, people that we know in this area are, are becoming community activists because our agencies are just really falling down on the job and being grossly negligent in some instances. Um, and then of course we heard about the Bucket Brigade and uh, we thought we just had to absolutely jump on that because several of us are somewhat scientifically minded and, and can definitely handle gathering data and being able to then translate it and present it to legislators later on. So uh, we're really excited to get the project going and, and hopefully uh, Every, the results will come back definitively. So.